Hi, welcome back. John Roberts here, Green Top Landscapes. About a year ago, we uh, landscaped this part of the garden. It was just a grass area, and what we've done, we've laid a new patio area at a diagonal. We've put on that part of the garden, we've put a raised uh, retaining wall to retain this part of the ground, because there was quite a slope going along there. The retaining wall went all the way along, approximately 15 metres, and we've got this terraced effect for the glass, the, the greenhouse. And the reason for this is that you go with the lie of the land sometimes to make up the ground levels are high and fill it all in would just look a little bit silly. So you go with the lie of the land. But come and have a look what we've done on this part of the garden. What we've, what we've actually constructed here, we've built some vegetable boxes in this part of the garden and we're just finishing off. We're just putting the soil in there. There's quite a bit of soil in these boxes now. There's three of them and they've got this integrated effect. And what we've actually done to allow access to the veggie boxes, we've laid some paving at a diagonal. If you have a look around here, we've got this parallel path with a raised bed on this part of the garden against the hedge. They wanted to put uh, a, a small border here, so we retained it using this uh, sleeper effect. But these aren't uh, normal sleepers, as you, uh, the re uh, reclaimed sleepers that leak the bitumen and tar. They're a, a tannalized product and uh, they're an eight by three. And we, what we've actually done, if you look on this side, we've used this coach screw effect on here. Counter sunker, coach screw, and it goes right the way in. So it's gonna, all gonna hold. We've put some voids across here with some gravels. Um, it's not quite, everything's not quite running square and the client will be able to plant some chamomile in time. It'll just break up the expanse of the paving. But if you look over here, we've got these, these veggie boxes at different levels as well, okay? To create areas of interest, and uh, they'll decide what's gonna be vegetables and what's gonna be planted. We planted this old rose bush back in, and uh, I think it had some sentimental value, so that's back in that part of the garden. So look, if you need some advice in your garden, go to the website, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk, or you can give Alison a ring in the office on 01633 007. Or you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. I'm afraid that's it for now. I'll see you soon.